Oh, that was bro. the day I learned that I'm never going to tell my mom about my romantic escapades because I remember after she, she called me, I'm like, hey, mom, oh, can I? You know that time you still ask your parents for money then? Yeah. Yo, hey, your mom, can you just lend me like, you know, 50 right now? What did what you do with it? You know, I did Valentine's Day. Who sent you to go and do Valentine's Day? <laughs> What up, everybody? It's your favorite podcast, men, back again with another episode of Michael Scenario. And I'm Maria Welcome, Koya. And you are on Menisms. Wagwan, how far? Hope you guys are good. Welcome to another episode. Make sure you subscribe to all our audio platforms, whether yes. it's Spotify, yep. Apple Music, YouTube. Exactly. And again, thank you for all the support. Season two, we outside, we here. And, you know, how you doing, my G? How's life? Always good, as usual. No, that's good. Well, mm, I don't have cash, please. If you have okay, cash for me... Do you, know what's, l- do you know what's funny? I have actually been living by transfer for the last year. Because right. I kept losing debit cards, like, beginning of the okay. year. So, I was like, transfer only. So, even now that everybody's like, no cash, I've been so you, used you, to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I agree, I agree. I think for me, the only reason I feel it is because there are lots of little things that only cash can pay for like, oh, I'm going to the Vulcanizer or, oh, I'm going to, I want to buy fruits outside by the road. Like, like most times, these guys don't take transfers yeah, as well. You get? So, just those little things, but it's not like a major aspect of my life, but I'm basically like the whole Lagos now, but yeah, everybody's there's just... There's no cash, there's no fuel. We're all, we're all electrons trying are, to survive. Shall yeah, I pray for are, us in yeah. Lagos I if mean, you're outside Lagos? Nonetheless, we're alive and well. We're alive and well. All right, so before we get into our topic, we have some questions and comments from you guys. Make sure you keep sending your comments and questions in, yep. and we'll definitely try to read the best ones. So I'll start off and we'll just go back and forth. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first comment. Hi, I hope you both are well. I just listened to your episode on commitment. There was a moment where a guy was dating a girl who he didn't want to commit to yet. Yet. So she started actively dating other people. Why is that a red flag? Who said that's a red flag? I, I, I don't think it's a red flag. Do you think it's a red flag? I don't think that's a red flag. I mean, both single. Exactly. Like, nobody, if he's not committed, then she can be yeah, committed. Yeah, if you're, both, if you're both single, look, all these men that keep having this pride about, oh, you don't want to wife her, yeah, she should only see you. Stop lying to yourselves. The woman is allowed to do whatever she wants. Exactly. So, unless, if you want her, wife her. Exactly. I, all right, so, um, so the second one says, um, the last episode made me realize that I was in my whole phase in 2022 after a fresh heartbreak in 2021. It was even it was even my rich girl era. Amen. I was buying myself things that girls were expecting from their boyfriends. Mm-hmm. Talking myself, taking myself out on solo dates. Mm-hmm. I did not have penetrative sex, but I learned new positions with oral. Wow. And I even played boys. Wow. A whole lover girl like me, can you imagine? It opened my eyes a lot, or two a lot. My confidence was on a different level. I was even attracting a lot of guys than normal, both single and married. Jesus. Including the ones I met at Mayawa's party. Sunday at Ilashe. <laughs> I think her boyfriend knew she was there. <laughs> ha. I'm, I'm speechless, Anyways, God bless you. Yeah, and then she goes, thank you, Mayawa. I now have a guy I'm seriously involved you think with. You we are starting relationships here at Sunday Ilashe. For all of you that think it's just a party of Sodom and Gomorrah, we are starting relationships out here. Uh-uh. See a testimony right here. Anyways, she wraps up by saying, bye. He just texted me. Sorry, it's long. Wow. First off, congrats to you, madam. You know, imagine the girl was living her best life, found somebody at a party. You see, there's love in this lady. But, but I also like that she owned up to the fact that she did go through yes. her whole phase. Like, yes. She she hopefully accepted that it was an explorative phase. I always, I have a thing with girls now where I'm like, I'm very, I'm old enough that, like, yo, be honest with me. I don't care. The thing is me, I actually don't care because look, we've done our own. So who says you've not done your exactly. own? Exactly. So who says you can't if do you are own. actually communicating, like all these guys that have this illusion, oh, she has only has slept with one person, all that. Stop lying to yourself. Yeah, like girls can also actively date the way we do. So I don't see why this. But I mean, I'm glad that she did. And I'm also glad she found love. Shout so, out yeah. to you anyways, wherever you are. So yep. next one. Yep. There's a boy I like, a man actually. And I went ahead to shoot my shot. The problem is that I just told him that I liked him and I thought there was nothing special about him and I would like to know him better. The thing is, me saying I like him doesn't mean I want to marry him tomorrow. And I think that might be why he is pulling away or he just doesn't like me, which is fine. But I just want an exclusive friends with benefits. I don't want a relationship. Never been in one and I don't think I will be in one anytime soon. I don't like men enough to want to commit to that kind of thing yet. And even though I am open to a relationship with him, it can come after a long while of spending time with each other. So how do I communicate my feelings to this man? If it's not too late or another or another 
Hmm? Or another other man I might want to have something like this with in the future. Because I will always communicate my feelings, thoughts, wants, and needs. But sometimes I don't get the how part right. Okay, so here's a problem I feel like a lot of people in Lagos do. Whereby everybody has this illusion of, oh, I want an exclusive friends with benefits but no relationship. However, I want to add some parts of a relationship but we're not together and you wonder why all of us are confused or playing each other look this is 2023 we're all going to be adults and we're all just going to be honest now to some people they don't know themselves well i'm not saying her for example but it's like you have to know yourself well enough in terms of what you can handle it's like i always we always said in even other podcasts like now if i'm single and you're single but i want to see you unless i know i'm going to wife you i'm not going to put any rules anything or even expectations onto you, expectations onto you because we're not in a relationship most people wonder why things get complicated it's because you start putting relationship rules in something that's not a relationship yeah because right now what she's done is asking for exclusivity in a friends with benefits you see, it's, it's cool if at the time he's you're the only person he's seeing and he's the only person you're seeing, mm-hmm. but it doesn't put him in a box where he can't see other people. Other people. He, yeah, because right now, if he's just seeing you and then he meets somebody somewhere halfway here that he finds attractive, but maybe not attractive enough to even date, but just attractive, right? I mean, he could also want to be involved with the person. That doesn't give him exclusivity to this. So, I mean, she can find what she wants, but I think she has to be cut clear. Yeah, and I think some people even like me. My only rule for exclusivity is like obviously sexual health. Like, yeah. I'm, like if we're already to be together, then I'm okay. You get yeah. what I'm saying. However, yeah. can I go out on dates with other people? Yes, yeah. vice versa. You can go on dates with other people. Mm, yeah, because because I think um, again, let's not let's not bash it down that this is something she cannot find. Because there are also guys who then, want uh, friends or basic exclusivity. So if she finds somebody that aligns with what she believes then hey sure fair um, enough teach them but don't project that on every guy that's what you shouldn't do that's, yeah so all right, next all right one? so um so the last one we have says <clears throat> actually is it the last one the next one second okay. to last so this one says please oh i thought men liked when women shoot their shots i met a man i liked from the jump probably the alcohol shot when we were talking but i found his instagram the next day and after doing some research for like three weeks for like three weeks mm-hmm. I told him I liked him and I wanted to get to know him better. I added a meme because I'm not a serious person. (laughs) He said something along the lines of we can talk and see where it goes and that he is also very busy and he won't want that toxicity for both of us. And I mean fair. We don't know each other like that and we are both busy. Anyways, I stepped back because I have made the first move and I felt like if he truly wanted to get to know me, he would... He would have made effort. I mean, we live in the same London, okay, and have mutual friends. Weird how I have never seen him till his 30th birthday party. Of course, nothing happened, and I tried supporting his business. He's the CEO of a startup. He was appreciative, but that's where it ended. Obviously, he probably didn't like me back, but I want to know why. He came with one useless excuse that he thinks he might be too old for me, but I'm 25 and he's 30. So what does this mean? How do I get over someone I've com- I've convinced is my I'm convinced is my ah. soulmate? Okay, so first of all, I need to point something out, and I think it's not even it hits a bit of a nerve for me. If he says he's too old for you or that you're too young for him, the age difference could even be two years. But that's his preference. Why is she calling it a silly excuse? The thing is, and you can't force your preference onto because so, even for example, I, I'm going back to the part where she said shoot your shot in terms of you sent it. You um okay, you told him you liked him, okay, you actually did shoot your shot. Mm-hmm. But if somebody's not interested in you now, like you Because that's it. because from what she said, you see, the way she said he's giving a useless useless excuse that he's older than I am or I'm younger than he is, and then she goes ahead to say, I'm twenty five, he's thirty. You don't know there are people who can't do like more than a two year gap. Yeah. There are people who can't do more than a three year gap. Like so five years is like the max for them. They just can't see themselves with someone that young. I, I don't really mess it might with be, it might girl, be an yeah. excuse, right? But if that's no, his but excuse, like you said, legit, if, it yes, can be legit too because if, if that's 25 his reason, and 30 is actually a big difference. Yeah, if that's if that's a reason for him, then that's a reason for him. Like why 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 don't we just want to sometimes just accept because that? Because what because even the narrative is that's why I said we also have to be careful how we narrate and say things because it's like you think, Oh, I thought men like when women shoot their shots. If one person rejects you, does that doesn't mean it 
identifies all men now don't like shooting their shots. So I think I think what happened here was that it was a rejection she didn't quite see coming. And a lot of women have a lot of pride in terms of when they get rejected, a lot of them can't handle it. Because yeah, to them, like shooting their shot, they've done you a like favor. I've done, I'm doing you a favor. Because now, when, even when he said, he communicate, communicated clearly, he wasn't even beating around the bush. He said, okay, you know what, they can talk and see how things go. Mm-hmm. And that he's a very busy, he said it from the jump. It's not as if he changed energies midway. He said he's a very busy person, but that is, and she also said they're also busy. But you see, the thing is that because maybe she has higher feelings for him than he does her, she's seeing it as every single thing he's saying is an excuse. When it's not, he's just telling you the truth. Exactly. So, I mean, so, well, uh, whatever the case, I think what it is is if he doesn't, you know, feel the same way, then just move on to another person who might. All right, last one. Share anonymously. Yesterday's episode on whole phase made me realize that I'm still in the stage, but the difference is that I'm not entertaining men, but I'm so eager to experience new things and places. When Muriwa spoke about girls who come to Lagos for the first time and they are excited, I wanted the ground to swallow me because I intend on moving to Lagos soon and I'm so excited. <laughs> the reason being that I love, I have lots of opportunities waiting for me. In all, I'm happy I got more awareness about myself, which has never occurred to me. Thank you, menisms. Um, yeah, come enjoy yourself. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, m- maybe as a guy, my energy is done with Lagos. You know what's funny? It's like we just said it now. There's no fuel in Lagos. There's no money in Lagos. We're all suffering right now. People are going to... Mind you, this all just happened after Dirty December was literally a month and a half ago where people exactly. were like, oh my God, Lagos! And this is why I keep telling people, stop... I mean, not that you shouldn't stop coming in Dirty December, but especially if you're a Nigerian in abroad, you need to see the real Nigeria. And the funny thing is, we're yeah. still, people are still having fun in this time. Well, don't get it twisted. But yeah. the illusion sometimes that Lagos paints, especially on social media and all that, favors some people more than a and lot of does, people. Yeah. So, And yeah. that's why I said, even with women, we've talked about it where a lot of times it seems like women enjoy Lagos more because yeah. of all the other factors we've spoken about. Yeah. But what's so, your thoughts? So, I mean, I think in the end, if she had, because she did talk about having opportunities in Lagos. So, I mm-hmm. feel like if her opportunities you know, kind of outweigh the Lagos problems. And I mean, she should go for it, you know, because sometimes in the same Lagos that we're, you know, suffering and hustling. Money there's day, also, yeah, Exactly. There's Money also good opportunities. Somehow. So if she's waited and it works for her, it works for everything she's expecting from Lagos, then I mean, by all means, she should go for it. Fair. So, I mean, shout out to you guys. I keep sending the comments. I keep sending everything. We appreciate you. And with that, we're going to go into our topic today because it's February. It's the month of love, which means Valentine is coming. Where is your boyfriend? boyfriend? And, of course, in saying that, we're going to be talking about Valentine's Day in Lagos. Because, obviously, the whole world celebrates Valentine's Day. But Valentine's Day is a bit different in Lagos, for those of you that don't live here. Because, you see, Nigerians are funny people. We will all act hard, acting like we don't like love and soft things and all that. But you see Valentine's Day in Lagos. First off, that's one of the worst traffic days in history why because um what's the name of this dispatch is going everywhere <laughs> de- delivering flowers oh dispatch is delivering gifts oh to my the days. girlfriend the wife the side chick the this Fair, then actually the the guys the men some of them that are married you have to take the wife out you have to take the girlfriend most, out. most men are going to be in three places at once ah drivers are going to be doing a lot of work ah. that day and the funny thing is the girls now the one thing i love about valentine's day is it cast girls so much because you know guys not like every guy gets valentine's day gifts unless you're in a committed relationship yeah. but you know those girls that we always put on their stories and all that like i'm focusing on myself i'm not or even the girl you were, could have been talking to saying i'm not talking to anybody next thing you know oh my god oh yeah. my god i didn't expect this number one number two ah okay number one number two interesting but we, there are many factors to it as you can I mean, see in but the what, end, in the uh, end the game is the game uh, so, you you get, and uh, again I'm not complaining no, like I said if you want to you go the end, own. in the but end the game is the game for Valentine's game. Day now first off let's, let's start off with this question are you celebrating Valentine's Day this year <sighs> hmm. um <laughs> that's a very good question so I usually I usually wouldn't so I don't I would only celebrate Valentine's Day if I have a an actual significant other. So you're not celebrating this no. year? No. Okay. So, and, and yeah, my reason is because I feel like there's a lot more romance attached to it than what I, whatever I'm currently in or whatever I have, you know, so. You except, know what's funny? I mean, when men answer questions like, do you see how it's very tension, this is like, it's just like, there's so much tension already, like, you know, um, you know. I, yeah. I, I, so, I mean, no, you know, and I think, you know why there's tension? Because I mean, let's answer that actually. Why is there usually tension? And I think for me, tension could be because Valentine's is not supposed to exclusively be for people you're romantically involved with 
I, it, my parents could even be my Valentine's you get so that's one of the reasons why it's tense because there are people in my life I've never met such a politician <laughs> before in my life there are people in my life <laughs> remember this yeah. but wow there okay. are people in my life who I believe deserve a Valentine mm. but I, I usually won't want to celebrate it because sometimes it could mean something else to them if I do fair enough so, yeah. I mean I me I ain't gonna lie I'm giving flowers to my mama, my grandma, and the girls in my life. And when I say girls, they're not uh, girlfriends. And I'm talking about, like, there's some great female friends that yeah. have supported me this last year. I'm going to show love to, in my kind of way, because yeah. I'm still single, so I'm chilling. But I'm going to show love to the girls that showed me love. But I have celebrated Valentine's Day, you know, where, that, yeah. you know, in Lagos, where, you know, I shop. You know, there were some girls, at least not this year, but, you know, the year before, you know, the girl I'm talking to and all that, you know, sent her a little something. Didn't really go out well. But, um, <laughs> you know, we moved. We're right. here. Um, and that, that was a very big eye-opener because... Was that your first Valentine in Lagos? In Lagos? um, Yeah, it was my first Valentine's Day single in Lagos. So, I've celebrated. I've been here when Valentine's Day happened, but... You had then your I was in, girlfriend uh, abroad. Girls, and so, I sent my girlfriend gifts outside, but... I did events then. So the events we did now, that's why I said you see the streets packed. But last year, first time single, you know, I sent, I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell my story, you know. This is menacing. We honest out here, you know. Um, You know, uh, I wasn't, I was talking to this girl. We had been seeing each other for a while on and off. And I'm going to take accountability and responsibility whereby, you know, I wasn't consistent. Okay. You know. At times I'll show I'll be in her life sometimes and Some then other times you sometimes won't be, yeah. I'm you know we're we're on the ground and then yeah, we're back yeah, and yeah, no but yeah. we always like still had a good relationship so you know Valentine's Day I'm thinking like you know what I ain't gonna get I'm chilling but it's like you know what? I'm gonna get her something okay. so I think what did I even get again I know what I got it's just me I don't want to say this yeah, I mean, you don't you don't have to say what it I was. don't mind you but know, like we we the we're, we're in a better place now okay cool so you know got her um I think it was like a bouquet of roses and then. She liked donuts, so um, I remember Krispy like, Kreme. Yeah, Krispy Kreme. Okay. So I got like okay, roses. Um, Krispy Kreme, run us our check, please. Thank I you. Bill, free branding. Then you know, I went to go drop it at her office and all that. She's like, oh my god, I love these. Cool. And she was happy and all that. Give me a little kiss. I'm alright. So yo, we gonna go, go out tonight and all that. She's like, yeah, I'll hit you up. I don't mind. No hair, anything. <clears throat> now, uh, well. now. <laughs> And this is why a men too about sex because I had two other girls lined up <laughs> that I could have taken out that night, okay. but because this is the one I like the most. No, I'm gonna be a real. I'm real. I was single, you know, I'm allowed. But I had two other girls lined up that day too that I was like, I could pick between these two, but that one I liked the most. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just pick. Backfired on my ass. You know, I I think. <laughs> A part of me too doesn't celebrate Valentine's while I'm single because of that. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? We're being honest. We're being be real. We're being yeah. real. So, I have had some Valentine's where I have too many options, right? And, um, I mean, am I supposed to now give all the options? All the options. You get it, I mean, so, <laughs> And at the same time, there's also the fear that the one option that I want to gift doesn't feel the same way towards me. In fact, mm. I'm gifting her, she's gifting another guy, you know, so... And some girls, what I've realized... Which, then, the game is still the game, but because I'd rather be a good the, player. Well, <laughs> some girls use it, I've noticed, some girls use that day as a day of bragging in terms of they will show who has the most toasters. Exa Thank you. No, see, Thank because you. you see, like I said, you see, gift one, gift two. Oh my God, I didn't expect this, so... Wait, that means you yourself, because they always like to accuse us men. But you are entertaining how many guys... Which, like we say, as your single is fair, but then don't be doing the narrative that men, 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 when you two, you are entertaining yourself. Yeah, because sometimes when they say, I wasn't expecting this, it's not necessarily expecting this, like, I don't even know who the fuck this is. It's expecting this, like, oh, okay, I, I wasn't sure if he was going to give me on, on Valentine's, but I guess now we can put him under number three. Ah. God forbid. You know, may, and, they, may, and, they, may they not rank any of you men <laughs> listening to this. Amen. And, and and that kind of, you know, takes us to the angle of, um, you know, the the pressure that comes from the culture of the Valentines we have here in Lagos. Because, mm. like you said, because some girls like to use it to brag, it's also a downer for some other girls. Because the girls who I've seen, girls every year back to back, get uh, like gifts from like, four or five God, guys. When, when is this flower they, finally going to reach my house? Get, when is this dispatch going to say it's for me? I mean, look, look at the even, even, <laughs> even the social media pressure alone, right? Everyone is asking you, so what's the plan for Valentine's Day? What's the plan for Valentine's Day? And I'm just like, you don't know that first of all, it's a work day, right? Most people are going to be working. From you nine know, to five. And... 
at, after work, everybody's just trying to like rest. <laughs> just do you know yeah. what I feel? Some <laughs> some some people are going to even spend I, it in petrol traffic. I was going to even say they're going to be on petrol like Some girls do. What? God forgive me. We're just having fun, but I feel like it's true. I feel like, and there's nothing wrong actually. To be fair, but the ones like you say that brag. Some people buy themselves flowers. Oh, oh you know, that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's not. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's normal. I mean, the, unfortunately, those are the ones that are suffering heavy esteem issues. But that's but, another but conversation. Does, We're not here to con- <laughs> judge or anything. But it's like yeah. we've no like guys notice these happen. things. Like me, like I said, like this year is a bit different. Whereby like I'm chilling, you know, like. I'm cool. Like I said, I know the women that have been in my life that actually support me that I'll take care of this year. But, you know, when I'm in a relationship, I know how I'm going to do Valentine's for my relationship. But I've realized now as a single man, I know they pressure myself. Even to toast, even to toast women to say, "Oh, I want to just show you that I'm serious about you and toast you when you have other." Like, I don't okay, know so so this this is this is good. Uh, let's let's. I want to ask you, mm-hmm. what what would you say your, well, not what would you say, like, uh, give us a description of your, and by us I mean me and the audience. Thank you very much. <laughs> give us a description of your. Um, what you would call your best Valentine's experience? Now that could mean either the way you receive the gifts or the way In you Lagos gifted the person. Or, uh, overall, overall, like one you just off the way, you're like, you know what? This Valentine's Day, I loved this. Like, I have no regrets. I loved every bit of it. And like, you know, we want to know how the day went. I don't. You know what's? Fu- this Damn, is going to sound so bad. With my ex, I don't remember. Ah. No, because we were a long distance for a while. Okay, okay. So okay. we didn't get the days that's Valentine's Day. Now. Right, we never, we're not really We never together. got In fact, the only time we did, I tell a lie. I tell a lie. Our first year in our relationship, um, if I remember correctly, yeah, we actually got, uh, we went out in London, went to this like really nice restaurant. Because I remember like she liked Thai food and me, I'm a very picky ass eater. So we picked one really nice Thai restaurant for her to go to. Um, we went around London, went roller skating, you know, so that, they, like, because we were young, too. We were, like, 24, 25, but and she was very chilled, like, laid back. So, yeah, I think we just spent, like, the whole day in London because we were visiting. Yes, she came to stay with me. You see how I have to remember because that was the last time I had, like, proper yeah. Valentine's Day. Yeah. So, she came into London for the weekend, and we just had, like, a very nice romantic weekend. No, that's it. I know it sounds basic and all that, but, hey, it was a long time ago. I mean, There's some memories you delete because it's ex you know for what I mean? a reason. It's, but it's, it's your story, I mean. I mean, but, it, but yeah, I have, that's what I said. I ain't going to lie. Like, Valentine's Day for me, is like I said, each time I was just, I'll send gifts because I was in a relationship. Then even this last year, two years single. So, the last really. year, we saw what happened. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> you know, but this year, like I said, I, there's no pressure again because I'm chilling. Like, even me and myself, I'm chilling. Even me, I ain't going to lie. If I'm toasting you as a girl and all that, it's not Valentine's Day, that's the day I toast you. Okay, so I mean, how what about my, you? What about case, you? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> in my case, it's a bit different. Um, so I've been in long term relationships, like two long term relationships, okay. and um, in each of those relationships, I have the one Valentine's Day for each that I think were like the most memorable. Mm. And um, for the first relationship I had. So and automatically that also translates to those are the two most memorable memorable Valentine's days I've had like across sure. board yeah. So the first one was I was dating my first ex and um, we had just finished uni. Well, not just like a couple months in, we were doing NYC even actually sure. at that time right. So we had you know we had finished uni and this was our first Valentine's outside of uni. Mm. And I'm a very I'm okay. So I mean, I you, I'm, I don't know if I really said it. I'm extremely romantic when it comes to like relationshipy type things, okay. right? So, um, so that day, in fact, the day started off with me having no plans. Like I wanted to have plans, but I wasn't just sure. So everything just seemed so basic. I don't like basic shit of just oh, let me take you out to a restaurant. Or, yeah, no indirect meal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Fair. My apologies. Um, <laughs> so, so I I usually like for something to feel a little more intentional. So, um, so actually, you know, when I think about it now, bruh. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. So uh, that day, what I did was, so I, my brother was still in Lagos, mm. you know, and what I had him do then was, so I had this boat that was available for rent that I could easily access for rent, right? So I just thought to myself that, wait, Okay, let me do this. And so I spoke to the person that would help me rent the boat if there was a driver available for the boat. Mm-hmm. Now, this was a boat that I could, it was privately owned. So it wasn't like one of those ones that are like up like a company for rent and all that. Because I'm sure by then, you know, people would have also rushed it. So this was like a private boat, nothing too big, just a regular boat that had like an inner cabin. Mm-hmm. And so, like I said, I had no plans. 
this was all like I just quickly put it together after work. So now, luckily for me, work let me buy some time. So during my work hours, I was just thinking like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And then I got my brother. My brother, we lived not so far from the boat location. Mm. So I called my brother then. Like, hey, look what's up. That there's this there's this roasted guinea fowl inside the fridge. It was my mom's it was my mom's guinea fowl. Oh, there's dead. this roasted so <laughs> nigga really just said there's something in the fridge. I'm screaming. There's this roasted guinea fowl in the fridge. Like, can you just put it in the microwave? Just warm it up a little bit. Bro, I told him to literally just help me and this was like a nice tasting roasted guinea fowl. Like nice tasting. And so I think you know, just gather like two. Help me chop them up like, you know, into like chicken parts and because they usually come in whole. So I'm gonna chop them up in chicken parts, microwave them for me and everything. And then get me like a an ice bucket with like two, three champagne bottles. And yeah. At that time I hadn't told my girlfriend what the plan. I just told her, Oh, we're not doing anything, it's just we're just gonna see and go. So it was supposed to be a surprise. And then when I went to pick her up from work, she lost me driving in a different direction from where her home is, and she's like, oh, Where are we going to? I'm like, relax. And then we got to the boat jetty where the boat was going to launch her from. And then she's like, what's going on? I'm like, yeah, just, it's fine. Don't worry, don't think about it. And then, you know, as she got in the boat, the ice bucket was already there. The champagne bottle yeah. was already there. You two know, glasses of champagne. What's, what's for <laughs> By the way, I was 21. Okay. So that, yes, yeah, so I was 20. No actually, I was, I was 20. I think I was 20, actually. I was 20. I was 21. I like to give you a disclaimer. And that's why, because me personally, like with Valentine's Day, like, I don't want to say it's overhyped, but, I don't want to. I think it is, by the way. I don't want to say the cliche. Oh, yeah. uh, not that you. If you like a girl like me now, for example, now I've done a lot of romantic shit outside of Valentine's Day for yeah, girls yeah. that are not even my girlfriend. The funny that's a that's, don't kill that's me, the please. funny thing. <laughs> Let's. That's why see how I had to put that in there, like because uh, Valentine's Day is that one. That's why I said when you asked me what have you done on Valentine's Day, it's like I had to think on the one day. on the one day. Yeah, but then yeah, if you I say on it like me now, as I say, if I like a girl, or we actually see him properly, like. I'm gonna do romantic shit. You get what I'm saying because I like you, my person. You get what I'm saying. But on the day, um, that's why I say you have to be. This is my own standard now. Yeah. We either ah boyfriend girlfriend or this is the girl I've been seeing for yeah, time. Yeah, that's, that's for me. So yeah, you get what I'm saying. And then if I happen to just be single in that phase, um, I'm chilling that day. Yeah, it has to. It has to be boyfriend girlfriend because even the second one. So I told you there are two experiences. So that was the first. Mm. I was twenty. I was. Tw- this was in two thousand and. This was in two thousand and twelve. Okay, so I was twenty one. I was turning 21. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, the next one was in my new relationship. Well, my, the one after, you know, this mm-hmm. one. And, um, now, fortunately for me, I was, it was long distance, right? I was in UK. She was here. And, um, I think it was my very first Valentine's, like having a girlfriend long distance. So, but like, but it was, I was so cheesy. So let me tell you what I did. So then, you know, I was running my fashion business from UK. So I had a dispatch guy who used to work for me then. This was even mm. before, like, dispatch got so popular now that everyone was just... Then there was still Okadas and everything. So, like, I had this dispatch guy who worked for me then. And so um, what I did then was I messaged a friend. So I told dispatch guy to help me go pick up some teddy bear and all that stuff from some place that I ordered from. And then um, I also... S- then the main Chinese place then was Marco Polo. So oh, yeah, I, yeah, knows Marco I had Polo. contacted Marco Polo to just get like this really nice Chinese meal and everything, put it together. So I told my dispatch to pick it up. And then I also like got like a champagne bottle and everything. And then I got some other gifts from the UK that I sent to Lagos mm. that I begged her friend to help me go pick up you know, from this, anyway, she shall pick them up and everything that, so I told her the plan was that, look, let her just show up at her friend's house, like, she shouldn't even let her know she got anything from me or anything like that, like, she should help me give the teddy bear, and, um, the teddy bear to my girlfriend at the time, and, you know, the, so what I got her was, like, some, uh, Swarovski jewelry, right, I got them from, well, so I got them while I was in UK, and then I, I know, sent I know them in, yeah, yeah, and I sent them in, so, um, Oh shoot! Sorry to cut you off. Mm-hmm. You just reminded me exactly what I did on that Valentine's okay, Day. Okay, so, so we I got mm-hmm. her I got her necklace actually. I just remembered now because okay. I remember like I was that was like my master's year. So I remember like I obviously we broke. Was that the same? Was that the same, same girlfriend? No, I mean the same Valentine's Day. Yeah, or like a different Valentine's. No, no, same day. That like day she came we, to London. We, she came to London. Okay. 
We went to eat in some restaurants. We go to a hotel. We did like my ex and I. Like if me personally, like if we did, I like fun shit. Like let's go to the arcade. Let's go. Let's go play and all that. But I remember I got her this mad necklace. Now that had like a heart. Like it had and one diamond in it. Okay. And oh, that time you know uni students boys are broke, but I broke but like back. Still, yeah, but I remember yeah, even yeah. my mom called me. I remember I had to call my mom. I was so ashamed because after Valentine's Day, boys are broke. And obviously, oh, I mean, students. let's not talk about the savings I had to dig my ah, pocket into. Bro, for I me had to, to do. Call my, I remember my because I know I'm saying it all cool, but that bro. was the day I learned <laughs> that I'm never gonna tell my mom about my romantic escapades because I remember after she, she called me, I'm like, hey mom, oh, can I? You know that time you still ask your parents for money then. Yeah. Yo, hey, your mom, can you just lend me like you know fifty right now? I'm a bit, what What'd you do with it? You know, I did Valentine's Day. Who sent you to go and do Valentine's Day? <laughs> don't mind me, but yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> don't kill me, please. <laughs> So yeah, so I um you know sent the jewelry over and everything and I, I gave it to her friend mm-hmm. with the teddy bear and everything to give to her. And at the time, Skype was the in thing. So, oh yeah, Skype. So Skype, Skype, I was Skype. using so this was like twenty twenty fifteen. So I was using Skype then and then so I told her friend I was ch- I was texting her friend while I was saying that you know I'm on Skype with her right now so just so her friend was like okay, you know she's on the way this was the morning of the Valentine's she's, mm-hmm. like, she's on the way I'm like oh happy Valentine's I, I was even teasing my girlfriend and like, oh what are you doing today I, your men are not sending you gifts and everything you know Dead. just teasing she's like mm, stop <sighs> not no, not I mean of course years later to find out that was actually that's beside the point <laughs> <laughs> say it louder now no say it louder, yeah, say yeah, louder. Yeah, I mean she just found out years later that she was still getting Valentine's from her other men but oh wow okay beside legit. the point okay. yeah wow. <laughs> sorry so anyways it's, you know track back to what I was saying. So I'm texting her and I'm, you know, I'm texting her friend and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm on the phone with her right now. Um, I'm on a video call with her right now. So you can just like, when you get there, just walk in. Like, I want to see her reaction and all that, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. You know, all that cheesy stuff. I know she got there. She's carrying a teddy bear and everything. And then her friend, my girlfriend was now looking like, okay, what's, what's all this? Like, mm-hmm. where are you getting this from? Uh, who is this for? I think she even thought it was her own Valentine's gift that she just brought over. And then... She now, her friend now looks at the camera that I'm on. My girlfriend now looks at the camera as well, right? And then now, um, sees and is like, Oh, oh, you know, that kind and of thing. That's that, like, that shock, yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. Oh, this is fr- you, like, how you know, I mean, that whole, oh, how did you send? I mean, she asked me the details later. Now, the best part, which was the cheesiest part for me, was so this was just the gift side of it. Like, I'm more of like, I'm more of a so my love language is. Um, words of affirmation or acts of service like mm-hmm. gift giving is usually like down there for me like I won't give someone gifts I never I never I never was even funny enough I said I learned love languages from my ex I don't yeah. know what the hell that was until yeah. like she had to explain it to me saying yeah. like she loved all the things I did but then there was one thing she's like have you ever asked me my love language I was like what the hell is that and then that's when I started learning the terms exactly so you know she liked uh, she liked acts of service and everything so and that was also my thing so like I said, I had gotten the dispatch guy mm. to pick up the food from Marco Polo and get me a bottle of champagne, get her... I mean, I knew she had a glass at home and everything, so... So, she, she I mean, of course, to her, she thought the morning thing was all that it was, you know? I was like, yeah, yeah, that was all, sorry, you know, mm. just I'm good about my day and everything. And then I text her later and I'm like, you know, can you kind of tr- make yourself available at like seven? Can you be home at mm-hmm. seven? And she's like, yeah, she's not going anywhere. I think that time, Valentine's fell on the weekend. Okay. Right? I think it was like a Saturday or something, so... Um, she was like, yeah, she's going to be at home. I said, okay, cool, no worries. Just be at home. She's like, why is it? I mean, just, just be at home, okay? So now, I went to order myself some Chinese as well. I also went to get myself a bottle of champagne. And so my plan was we're going to have a cyber Valentine's date. Dude. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my this goodness. is why I'm not doing long distance oh anymore, honestly. Bro, see, we were, that, we were on Skype. We were on Skype. I had my champagne glass. You know, with my bubbly inside, she had a champagne glass and we're literally just cheering into the camera hole. And then, you know, we're having dinner and talking as we were. I mean, I was I was on my dining table. She was on her dining table and we were just like talking like we're actually. Ew, having, that it was pretty, cheesy man. as hell. Yeah. But I mean, so it's mo- most memorable because like it's it's, it's like a said, moment you share. With you get each it. Other. It's, it's something I've not done with anybody till since then. Before then, after that, I've not done it with anybody else. Because for you to be ever. in a long distance, as I said, there's a lot of sacrifices you are making. And that people creativity realize. too, bro. But even you saying this story, I was thinking to myself, I was like, the romantic things I've done outside of, and even maybe subconsciously, you just avoid that day because that pressure of that day. Ah, if I can be next day, it can be next day. Like ah. even me, I've thought like I ain't gonna lie. When you said the boat thing, you're like. 
I've actually told a lot of people this story. This this is I don't like menaces because it just gets me <laughs> up. You know, but you know, before Sunday last year, I was obviously going to the beach a lot. I was on the water a lot. So I remember this one time I had to like, you know, thank God one deal came through. So money was extra. Mm-hmm. Obviously booked one ten seater boat and all that, had the speakers in, had champagne and told her, Yo, baby girl, come a picnic on the day set up for you and all that. Mind you, not my girlfriend. Though. I was about to say is this your girlfriend? No, Jesus Girl, I'm toasting. <laughs> Oh my god. Girl, I'm toasting. But this toast now, this is like the final toast. You I know when you mean, you've yeah. done like that step like A, fi- step B. Final that was boss. like see, after this, you're not going anywhere. Right. Omar told my beach guys there, almost set up picnic for her and all that. So even on the boats now, you know, going there, she's sitting on my left. She's like, Oh my god, is this usually how the water is? I'm just like, Yeah, baby, you know, Elash. You know, this before Sunday last year. So you know, like, yeah, usually you know when I'm on the water like this, you know, we're drinking champagne on the boat now, we're drinking all that, get there, picnic, set up the water. So, ah Oppo. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, <clears throat> so, I guess myself, as well as the audience, want to know where this young lady is now. In your She's life. doing very well, actually. She, she jackpot. Oh. She jackpot? She didn't think your love was enough to stay no, in Lagos? No, we stayed. But, I mean, unfortunately, it wasn't just Damn. good timing. Fair enough. It wasn't just good timing. Fair but, enough. I mean, like I said, like, you know, some, some people will see us boys, especially us guys that look good that you know you just be bad boys bad boys i ain't gonna lie that's what i said if i like you like i'm gonna do some romantic shit like i'm not gonna go over like i'm not one of those guys i'll ever love but i don't need to do all that love bombing like yeah. if i don't mean it i can't see it you get but if i genuinely care about you like i'm gonna do little things and all that now i know for me like some guys like in lagos now the whole roses teddy bears and all that that's what the girlfriend do i'm sorry i cannot do that yeah. this brings me to a question i wanted to ask so yeah. Now we've spoken about what we've done mm-hmm. as guys for our girlfriends. Do you have any memorable moments of what doesn't even have to be your girlfriend? Could even be somebody who liked you. So what you've received on Valentine's Day as when you see you like, oh some I mean, have you ever had an oh moment on Valentine's Day? Damn. We're suffering as guys. Father Lord, help me. My ex did something for me, but it wasn't on Valentine's Day, but it was Valent- It was that month, really. She did something for me. Um, she actually paid for it. Damn. She actually put a lot of money into one of my parties I did that okay, month. Okay, actually. Like, you okay. know, you have to have a rider and okay. all that, because I yeah, pounds are not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I invested. Yeah. She got money, but, but I think, to me, that was like a big a thing. Big, okay. Especially okay. as a Niger guy, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She's just like, you know, like, because Valentine's Day happened and all that, and me, I was trying to look for money for stuff, so she's like, yo, I'll give you the money for your party. Yeah. I was like, yo. So, wait, wait, wait. So, now, now that you said this, this makes me want to ask the question. What do you think about the culture? I mean, of course, we've already talked about how we both mm-hmm. believe that Valentine's a bit overhyped. But like what do you, so if if you have a partner right and she gets mad that you're not but like maybe maybe not gets mad but maybe it's just slightly unhappy that you're not celebrating Valentine's with her but you know you have plans to do something with her maybe other days apart from that like how how do you take that cuz for me too I find it I find that the hype of the day makes it a lot less celebratory and meaningful than I want it to be I mean for me personally if I have a girl and it's around that time. If I have a girlfriend, keyword, if I have a girlfriend, I'm going to still do something on Valentine's Day because whether we want to admit it or not, just as human beings, that social pressure, especially for women, is there. Now, I'm not saying the girl I'm with is going to be pressured by that kind of thing, but I want you to just naturally... To feel appreciated. I just yeah. want you to feel appreciated on the day. Because the thing is, you yourself, you're going to know, like, as we together, you're going to be appreciated way before that. But yeah. on the day, I want you to still feel that feeling. That way, at least, you know, in the back of your head, because women are funny too, they'll say, hey, I don't care. They are going to remember that. You know why I ask this? Because, you know, how you celebrate Valentine's Day would, would I mean, okay, so for example, because I'm a romantic, I mean, I guess going to the restaurant is nice, but if I was really, if I had a girlfriend, right, and I was going to spend Valentine's Day, especially like now in my stage, and if I know at that time I'm not financially buoyant for like a whole thing or oh, send flowers to our office, send flowers, you know, I mean, there's sometimes... That part of the month, we're just finishing 30 December, guys are still recovering. You know, there's some parts of the month that you're just not, or even maybe some massive setback just you came there's on. there's no cash in the country right now. Do you get, so, do you get, maybe there's just something for whatever the reason is. So, for me, it doesn't stop me from celebrating. Mm-hmm. I, there's still some things you can do that are not so expensive. For me, I'm the kind of person who would, you know, get candles in my apartment, just have like a nice dinner thing. If I'm not cooking, 
I'm, at least maybe I'll order her favorite meal, mm. but like I'll set it up, do like a proper plating, everything. So I guess what you're trying, the advice at least to guys, because a lot of guys now, especially on Valentine's Day, think they have to break the bank. That's, yeah, but that's Valentine's at. Day is about the thoughtfulness you the put The intention in. behind what, yeah. Exactly, how you just said, like you put the candles. If there's a lot of intent into it, yeah. and you have the right girl, because this is also a game we're giving to guys that you also, at a point, need to start knowing the kind of women you're dating. Because... At this age now, there's more wisdom that we have. We can like yeah. there's times I've dated girls that I'm sure you can relate. I had no business dating, and you would see the reactions to some things you can't do at that time. They're yeah. like Jenny, like hey, I'm trying to do this. Like some girls can get angry for that kind of. Thing. Why would you just do a candle? Why didn't you buy me this? And it's like, yo, hold on, like I'm actually thoughtfully. I'm putting a thought into this, but oh, because it's not your standard now. So you should you should be aware of those kind of. Depending if you like that kind of thing as a guy, now you. That's I was about to say that like, nobody's condemning what you like. Because we've I mean, been there, I've thing. been there where I'll tolerate it. Like even I said, there's a quote my best friend said to me that it rang with me and it made me it's made me change my whole perception on women now. In terms of she told me you have a type. I said what, and yeah. I didn't really understand it until like this last few months. I had to like dig deep and say, you damn, do have a type. Hmm. There are some girls I've been chasing that I have no business chasing. Well, there are girls I should be chasing that are right there that I was avoiding for a reason that it gives you more peace of mind. There's mm-hmm. more, like, you know, even you chasing them is not work. It's p- peace. Yeah, it's peace, yeah. That is like, yeah. and again, I'm still going to make the effort as the guy, but it's like even the person themselves, the character of that person is somebody also. that's matching me and all that. Yeah. So, I like, even this year, I can't lie to you. Like I said, Valentine's Day, hey, you know, maybe there's still how many days left? There's just days. <laughs> Somebody can, you know, you never know. Oh if you want to give me Valentine's, days, fine. Man. But I'm just Don't saying. Me, <laughs> let me. So let me ask you another question about Valentine's in Lagos now. What do you feel now about? Do you get the girls that you're talking to now? When you see them online, if they get Valentine's Day gift, does that affect you? You go, girl. Oh, it affects you. No. Oh, oh, as this in, is, oh, celebrate. Yes, like, do your thing. I'm oh, okay, happy. Okay, okay. So, so I think more than anything, everybody who knows me knows I'm so realistic. Like, I'm so realistic. I, in fact, to the point where sometimes the problem for them that I'm this realistic, mm. we're talking. I haven't given you any commitment grounds. Like, I haven't given you reason to commit to me. Mm-hmm. Which is fair, right? And that's cool. Why then should you feel... Like, I should feel like I give you commitment reasons. Like, mm. I haven't made you any promises. You see, it's different if I've told you, look, I'm going to give you the world. I, 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 want, I want this to be between you and I. I want, to, I want all my time to be yours, all your time to be mine type of thing. Where you know, okay, that sounds like commitment. That sounds mm-hmm. like... So, but we're talking. I just let you know I like you. You know, you I like your vibe. You ain't getting her not, not, if you're talking? No, so I will get her. But my point is, if we're talking, I will get her. If I can get her at that time, I'm not going to break my neck or back to do it. But I, if I can, I will. If you're talking. Yeah, if I kind of just about that. I no, no, but this, but but what I get, I what I get that. has to be something that I can also gift on a birthday, something that is not so, um, like you said, I'm not gonna do send roses to your office or like chocolate cake in a house. So give an example. If you're talking now, what's an example of something you give? You're just so talking. so so. If we're talking, right? I imagine that as we're talking, once or twice, the person would mention something they like or maybe wanted to get. Now I'm the kind of person who would, um, for Valentine's Day, maybe just sort out one particular bill for that month mm. and say, okay, you know what? This particular bill has been stressing you out and I think I can cover it. So, yeah, 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 I've, I've, I, outside Valentine, oh shit, I'm oh, Yeah, oh, yeah don't cast yourself oh, too much. Don't cast yourself too much. No, we, we, it's <laughs> healing. It, it's not current, but damn, I've actually paid for something. Yeah, you know, so I, I can do that. I can also even buy them, even if, you know, sometimes someone could say, oh, they've always wanted a teddy bear. It doesn't have to be a teddy bear. Oh, okay, like the break the bank teddy bear. Yeah, so it's like, you know, it doesn't even have to be the kind of teddy bear that's holding a heart. or whatever. It could just be a regular brown teddy bear that mm. they just always wanted to have. I can give that, right? Okay. I can do stuff like that that doesn't necessarily have so much of a romantic attachment to it, but it shows the intent to like the person, right? As opposed to if it's my girlfriend, bro, it has to be, there must be some red. I, that, I can't like, we're talking, depending on you in the stage where we're talking, like, of course, yeah, the stage. I imagine you're head, talking about someone lie. that I'm talking, talking. However, with, you know? this is what I was going to say, my second point now, if you're sleeping together, mm-hmm. but you're not in a relationship, mm-hmm. are you still getting her a Valentine's Day gift? So I feel like the treatment is still going to be the same, right? Because mm. <laughs> sleeping together doesn't automatically... No, 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 but there's a different... But let's be real. When you're talking, you're just talking, trying to move to the girl. Yes, yes. But there's no commitment you said. However, sleeping together, 
your arrangement depends on you now. If it's just friends with benefits and all that, you guys are cool, fine. But you are still intimate to that level. Okay. So does that not mean that you're sort of obliged now because of the position you're in now to get her something? Okay, so that's that's good. And that's a good question because... And the reason I say it's a good question is because this obligation you're talking about, is it one-sided? Does she feel obligated to get me a gift? Okay. Because you know what, you're, you're, again, because, because Mui Wai is a politician <laughs> for all of you that are watching this thing. Because well the, done. because the, oh yeah, you before, to, before her, you are yeah. you going to get her? So I, I would if I can. Yeah, that's what I said. It's still the same. So it's the same as for talking. Me. It's still the same ground yes, as talking. It's, it's, it's fair, the same ground fair. for me because I definitely will not feel obligated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in fact, if I feel obligated, then I'll start thinking that mm, maybe I don't even like her that much, mm. or maybe we don't even understand each other that much. Mm. Because if I feel obligated, then it means I don't know how she feels about this kind of celebration. Do you get it? But if I don't feel obligated, but I really want to, but I can't, I can even always defer and still get her that gift later outside of the day. Do you get it? Depending on how much I like the person, yeah. you get. So if I like her to that point that I feel a little obligated that I'm, maybe I'm feeling like I should do something. I feel bad that I can't. I would, but then there's some that you know. We know what it is. We you guys, see. Do. Let me tell you, there's some sleeping together that I would just be right. There's some sleeping together that I feel like she's enjoying from me more than I enjoy from her. So in my mind, I'm like, girl, you're the yeah. run me my check. You're the one who owes me some something. So where's my Valentine's gift I'm for my service? <laughs> so no, for me, I, I, me, I, yeah, I said for just, me, yeah. if we are sleeping together around that point, especially. It depends on you, Sha. Like, everybody's different. But I just feel like, as guys, if we are sleeping together, especially around that time, it doesn't have to, like you say, you don't have to break the bank, but something, something thoughtful. Yeah, 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 now, yeah, if yeah. it's I, a kid, no, that I said, there's also the comma whereby, you know, if you're sleeping together, that you have a relationship, that you still talk, then yes, of course, I'm going to get you something. But if it's just, that hey, w- thank you. I'm going home. Hey, hey. Oh, is, that's you as a man, deciding what you want to do, but you're not so black. You if, you wa- if you want to give her something, you can, you like, can. There's no, yeah, exactly. You can, like, but there's no, there's no. I don't think there's any feeling. Like bad for me personally, like at this age, if we are sleeping together at this point, like I'm gonna get you something. Because for me, I ain't about to hook up with exactly. someone. You know that at, the person that you're with life, is like, someone I'm that you like. like. That, it's not even that it has to lead to a relationship, but there's a real there's compatibility a like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and understanding and friendship. Because a lot of people don't like to say that. There's a friendship we have that I still respect you as much. And I, like I said, there's love for you that you but know. The, I'm the get people you who don't like to say there's a friendship are people who are unrealistic because why you can't be friends. You are friends. That's not that's what you are. When you're introducing, are you going to introduce her as your girlfriend? Yeah, She's my not friend. your girlfriend. So my friend, and that's like, but as I said, everybody is depends on everybody. Like there's a certain maturity level on both sides. You have to be on to understand. It's communication. Like now nah, at this age now, like it's a process. But I've learned now that see. That way I re- eliminate as much stress as I can for my life. I'm going to commit. Co- I said commit. I am going to communicate everything up front. And vice versa. I want you to communicate everything. So if we get to that point of that understanding that we know we've entered our sleeping together, there's comfortability everywhere that there's no expectation for this, for that. But there's also going to be a respect and care I'm going to show for you because obviously this is the woman I'm sleeping with. You get what I'm saying? That's so, just me. So I have a question. Do you think... Now I'm just gonna like throw in the general. Do you, mm-hmm. do, you, do you think that Lagos men are romantic, or do you think in most cases it's compensation for the evil <laughs> that mm-hmm. they've done or are doing? Because I have seen instances where the man is cheating, stupid. Like I mean, like he just found out that he has another child in one of that place, but he has sent her the biggest flowers. Yeah, but me that I know the inside story, I'm just. I feel, I feel like, mm. like it's fifty fifty, whereby there are actually because one thing I hate, and all you women, please stop saying this thing about Gen- all Lagos yeah, men. Like crazy. even this twenty twenty three, yo, that thing is tired. Like I ain't gonna lie. even now, I ain't gonna lie. When I start, when I meet some girls, and think he just started Lagos men. Bye, <laughs> bye. I don't Adios. even have. I don't have time to this because I'm not wasting my saliva now to even start defending. Me, like I can only defend myself. Well, but course, in yeah. what you said now, it's fifty fifty because. Some men genuinely are romantic, whereby, like, I know we don't seem like it in our society, but genuinely, like, they've seen how romance is publicized on the outside, and they want, and they to want that. that. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, there are guys that are like that. That's However, guys, I'm guys, by the way, just I'm so screaming. in case we're not clear on that. I'm yeah, go on. <laughs> but there are the other guys now that they know that's a cover up for. For so, yeah. some things you're doing, yeah. or because they know the girl likes that kind of thing now, that's all they have. Um, okay, I have the bar already. Just yeah, go and buy this thing, buy this thing. She'll be good. Most times, ah! they don't even go themselves. I'll send the driver, I'll send one dispatch. You don't even see the guy on the day. Yo! <laughs> yeah. 
so so let me tell you when, whenever that happens i advise my friend because i have had female friends that i push i'm just like look accept the ghetto no don't but if you think for a second that this makes up for whatever he's done then just and unfortunately like you said it's a 50 50 and a lot of the valentine's day celebrations and even all that pressure all that everything a lot of it is masked by that like it is it is half the time one partner just knowing that okay this is this opportunity for me to buy a gift and make up for and, all the but the thing is like, it's like you even said it's earlier and it's like in lagos from the outside depending on everybody everybody's different but yeah sometimes it's like the exchange is like oh it's the obligation of the guy to do something then in return what do we get depending on your relationship oh, oh let me, let sex me, what no I let me, no, uh, they've upgraded now they tell you they'll get you uh singlet and boxers god forbid <laughs> I, I, I can't like like don't get me wrong I've had girls that have bought me gifts before oh, yes. and it wasn't oh, like yeah. on that's what I said it's funny how we are focusing on this one day but yeah I've had girls that have bought course. me gifts like I remember there was one girl like we were seeing each other for a while and all that you know and you know things are going well where is she now she's in her, doing her masters um but you know it was going well and I remember there was one day she bought me like this big like I remember a dispatch just came to my house just brought one thing like this I'm like the fuck. Then next you know, I just see the gift. So I'm just in shock now because now I'm scared in my head. Like, shit, what do I what do I now? Do exactly, what do I do now? Yes. Like, it's not like I'm un- unhappy. I'm happy. Like, yo, okay, this is very thoughtful. But at the same time, I'm just like, oh, pressure. I haven't done anything. I haven't done much. What do I do now? Like, ah, do I? Ah, 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 ah. And I can't lie. They, a lot of us now, even me, I'll admit, like, there are times where I wasn't as mature as I am now where my, what's the word I'm looking for? My actions after maybe could have made me say ah okay maybe i don't want to be too committed now that she's thinking like this mm, or like because mm, there's some mm, girls that mm. you re- reciprocate that, it whereby you give it give back but then there's sometimes you it pushes you away so remember remember i mentioned a point earlier in this episode where i said that the reason i don't celebrate valentine's with people i'm not romantically involved with is because it sends a wrong message sometimes if you don't that, communicate yes uh, of course that's like I said, i'm coming from a place where okay, we don't usually communicate fair, so fair, we if i that. if i give if i give her this gift already i'm thinking hmm, she's going to think this is where mm. we are that's exactly what's happening because when i got yeah. the angle like with my head because i was like yo we've had this in my head i'm like yo we've had this talk but that is thoughtful but damn it's like are we getting to that point? Because I ain't ready. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and men were bastards. I can't uh, lie. That's why I said I will take responsibility for this. Whereby then I should have communicated. Yeah. And even that, why should I be scared? It's like even though I thought about it, even thinking back now, it's like, yo, if you two are sleeping together and you are close already and she does that for you, it means she fucks with you. Why can't she do the same thing? And some girls actually, when you actually say that thing, don't run a relationship, some of them actually are fine with it. It's just that us men now complicate things. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's actually us. Don't get me wrong. There are the girls that's going to come out, but we have to also start taking accountability yeah. for causing some of the wahala. Also. We, we do, we do. But what? Let me ask you this now. So, with Valentine's Day now, if you get any, have you ever gotten um, what's the word I'm looking for? Anonymous gift. Okay. So again, because you don't have much time as usual, mm. um, I'll wrap up with this. So, um, have I gotten an anonymous gift? So I, I say the answer is yes because I got to find out who it was later. But at the time I got the gift, mm. I didn't know it was anonymous. It was just, <laughs> and well, f- again, thankfully I was single <laughs> because mm. I'm sure it would have caused problems because the gift came as a, um, you know, one of those they say a phrase so you should know who the person is from that mm-hmm. phrase type of thing. So like, you know what? Um, our inside joke is this, this. I'm sure you can guess who it is. I couldn't guess who it was. Mad. Like it took me like it took me like three four days. Mad. It took me like three four days. Oh, you know you know you know the worst part about that is, thing about the Valentine's Day thing is you have to thank the person. Uh. You know, I'm like oh yeah, I got your gift. I didn't know who the fuck I was going to tell. I got your gift from because I was just like, uh, is it her? Everybody I was not talking to. I was not like ah, oh, was it? And I it was even with someone that I didn't have any kind of like mm. we, are, we were just talking. You get like yeah. there was no kind of intimacy, nothing. Mm-hmm. So. I wasn't not sure, but for me, it felt like, oh, is this somebody I'm intimate with? But I was thinking, the person I'm intimate with now, she, know, she, can't, she ain't going to get me none. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, you get, know so what it is. I was like, there's no way. So everybody else now, and you know, as you're talking, that's the moment everybody seems like they are saying something that sounds like that note. Mm. It's like, uh, okay, ah, this person just said the same line. Could it be this person? <laughs> Bruh. It was, I was just lucky to not finally remember what I was like. I already know who it is. If uh, not, I would have been in soup. But yes, I, I have. I How about you? No. Uh, there we go. Mm, 
There we go. Not as an adult, but in uni, I know I did, but I can't really remember. I know because it was just time I got a gift and I didn't know who it was. I never even found out. But as an adult, nah. So, girl, start sending. See, me too. I like. I want to be. Pa- I want to be. I said pampered. I want to also be like a girl that even on Valentine's Day. Woo! Who's this? No, no, but you know, you Who know. Who said this? But you know the thing is, that I don't think, I don't think it's girls. I don't think girls come to that. I just go away with it because the dynamic is different. Because guys already use their money to impress women, so they are okay with the the anonymity being okay. She just never finds out who it is. You get then it's maybe later when you want to toast her again. Not like but that's why remember that. Remember that uh, box of this thing. I'm the one that sends it. Hey, Men don't care about that because to them let her just be impressed by it. For a woman, if she sends you anonymous, you don't you don't know who it is. You didn't call her to thank her. You just take anonymous gift and be going. Are you mad? That's <laughs> actually, and the thing is, there's also the culture difference because Nigerian girls they know they buy gift unless they know that's potentially my man or my man. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. you know, abroad I ain't. Gonna Except lie. you guys are good friends. Though. I will like, You just friends, made though. me think of a story. Actually, I ain't gonna lie. There was a time in England. I ain't gonna lie. Some girl bought me some Nikes. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but that was a long, long time ago. You know, I, I, I you know, we thank God. Um, but yeah, that is our episode for today, guys. Um, <laughs> Valentine is coming, so hopefully for those of you that are. In a relationship, hopefully you have a nice day. Enjoy yourself. What I mean, in fact, before we even close, what will be some places you can suggest to go to for Valentine's Day? Or what would you even suggest some things you can do for some guys that don't want to break the bank? Because right now, pockets are tight, but they still want to do something for a girl. What would you recommend? So, you know, again, I think boat cruises still work. Now, by boat cruises, I mean the ones you just rent the boat for like an hour and you guys just do your thing. Mm. Order food and just be on the boat and just just two of you mm. have a romantic time. Trust in the me, evening. she will love you for you it, get it if you do it right. Exactly. Then there's also so I guess depending on the kind of people you guys are. I mean, I usually say going out to dinner is very you can't do that every other day of the week. Really, you don't have to do it on Valentine's Day. Um, if you're really going to be intimate, like you can even do like a like a, well, we don't have a lot of those now, but those like um, those are motor park videos. Right. If you can do, you just remembered a Valentine's story. <laughs> my so, yeah. yeah, bastard. So, I just remembered that weekend. I said my girl came to London and all that. I did the restaurant, all that mm-hmm. stuff. Got the necklace. She took me on a spa day. Wow. And Men she got us. Scum. And she got us matching robes. Men are. Scum. And oh, that man. was the first time I went to a whole spa. I remember there was a hot yo. We and yo. I ain't, yeah. I ain't, wow. No, nah, men are scum. Men yo, are scum. I, I ain't gonna so lie, like, ladies, yeah. Yeah, I mean, men are not scum. It's just obviously it's been years, and I've tried to decompress those memories because it hurt. But it Fresh? was one of the best. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Like when we, when we, I remember like yo, yeah, I made some flight. That's what I say. You don't bring back these memories, man. <laughs> ah. All right. So, anyways, so like he said, matching robes, spa dates. It's also actually, like, spa dates is actually yeah. a good shout, you know. So, spa dates is a good shout. Spa day, um, Lacoway. Lacoway. Well, on depending nice on those day. who are ready to go that way. Yeah, for right. the weekend, just spend one yeah. night there, you know, away from Lagos, you know. Well, the, unfortunately, this year, like Tuesdays, Valentine's on a Tuesday, so. Yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> I don't know about Lacoway for you guys. But yeah, you can do spa dates, you can do um, boat art, cruise. Um, paint and sip, art paint stuff. Paint and sip, yeah. Yo, just Google is your best friend. Just yeah. be creative. Girls like creativity. They too. Like Girls creativity. like effort and creativity. Not saying don't take her out to dinner because taking her out to dinner, you could also be creative with that. You could also take her to a nice restaurant that, you know, um, they actually like maybe, you know, write her name out in whatever it is. Do you know, sorry, side note. Do you know no one? I cringe every time I see it, but it's just for... Will that, you be like, my girlfriend? Yeah, no. Those ones that the girls now show the money roses. <laughs> Like guys, just, thing, just be thing, creative. 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. Then the girls that really want to flex. $100, $100. I that's up. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, not please give your money bouquets or don't listen to him. Yes. Give your money bouquets too. Because you've already paid for it. Uh, hey, don't let your money burn. Saying, <laughs> so, so, but anyways, um, yeah, you guys should have a lovely Valentine's. Uh, love know, to business, everybody. Yeah. To all the single women out there, do not worry about Valentine's Day. Someone out there is going to love you. Please, to so the single men too, not only women feel bad on Valentine's Day, to so the single men who also don't have a partner to spend Valentine's Day with. So, I mean, are, are you shooting an open shot for yourself on that? If you're, yeah, I mean, are, if, are you single? If, if you're, I'm very single. If so you're, if I, you're, if you're also looking to spend Valentine's hmm. with me, maybe you know, take me out, treat me I to will something not sell special. Any of you a dream? I am not looking right now. However. <laughs> If you feel like I can convince me, hit my DM. Anyways, um, thank wow, you, wow, Menisms. Wow. Um, so thank you for another lovely episode, guys. I'm Michael Scenario. Yeah, and I'm Mer Welcome. Subscribe Kaya. to all our audio platforms, and we will be back again next week. Yep. All right.